The hero brings hope to Trump's legal duel as the voter advantage gradually slipped out of the hands of Trump. His son-in-law and senior aide, Jared Kushner, rushed to find a hero. Kushner wanted someone like James Baker, a former Secretary of State, Finance Minister and White House Chief of Staff, who had led George W. Bush's legal team in the 2000 Florida recount, to be later swapped. Praised as strategic genius and diplomacy. And Rudy Giuliani is your choice. Giuliani, President Trump's private attorney, is accusing his opponents of, a shame for our global reputation, and directing legal efforts to prevent candidate Joe Biden from winning the White House. On the afternoon of November 4, he tweeted that he was going to Philadelphia with a legal team to challenge what he called a major fraud, though he did not provide evidence. His six tweets were later flagged by Twitter for containing false information during a press conference on November 5. He claimed that one person may have voted 100,000 times without presenting any evidence. Giuliani said he was interested in launching a national lawsuit to challenge the election results. Do you think we are idiots? He asked. Giuliani's attempt to keep President Trump in the White House, if it fails, as most experts say, could put an end to the career of the 76-year-old. Once a courageous prosecutor and the hero to help New York overcome the panic in the 9-11 terrorist attacks, to be dubbed the mayor of America. Three months after the Twin Towers at the World Trade Center collapsed, Giuliani, having completed his term as New York mayor and transitioned to a speaking career, was able to earn $200,000 per contract and even fall in love. The bridge is picked up by private jets such as, Gulfstream 4 or greater. Over the next six years, he brought in about $30 million, became a member of 11 sports clubs and owned six houses. Running for president is the obvious next step. But when the costly campaigning resulted in only one vote in favor of becoming a Republican candidate, people's views on Giuliani seemed to have changed. Even his closest people realized it. Judith Nathan, Giuliani's third ex-wife, in 2018 told New York Magazine that their marriage ended as, the continuation that began when he failed to run for president. For a lot of reasons. That I know as a wife and a nurse, he has become another. Trump's presidential campaign provides an opportunity for Giuliani to, revive, and make himself, the number one friend, of Trump. On October 7, 2016, a month before the U.S. presidential election, the Washington Post released a video shot in September 2005, when Donald Trump, then a businessman, was preparing to film Access Hollywood. In this shocking video, Trump used obscene words, boasted that he could groping a woman without trouble and tried to have sex with a married woman. Trump was the host of the reality TV show, The Intern, Cult. As the scandal moved many of his representatives and supporters away from Trump, only Giuliani stood out to defend Trump, with his prominent Sunday morning talks on the American political agenda. Steve Bannon, Trump's chief strategist, later described Giuliani's role as indispensable. One of the reasons that helped us win was that Rudy was always there 24-7. Rudy was a very loyal man. He was like a badass, Bannon hinted Giuliani was fearless. Competitors. Giuliani was not approved to become Secretary of State, the position he aspires to, instead becoming the silent, firefighter, on many of Trump's problems. Giuliani's most prominent role for Trump's recent campaign was to lead the effort to rekindle the Biden family scandal in Ukraine, a role that has led many diplomats to accuse him of carrying out, shadow diplomacy. Quote dot. Despite criticism, Giuliani insisted that she would be remembered as a hero in the Ukraine case. When this is over, I will be the hero, he said. With the hope of opening the narrow door to victory, Trump's election team presented a series of legal challenges, sometimes contradictory and quite harsh without concrete evidence, requiring continued counting of votes. In states where Trump is behind and stop counting votes where he leads. President Trump on November 6 said he will continue to fight. We believe that the American people deserve transparent counting of votes and electoral certificates. This is no longer a problem with a single election, but about the integrity of their overall electoral process. We will follow the process through every aspect of the law to ensure Americans have confidence in government. I will never give up fighting for you and our country, said Trump, to speak. However, many observers believe that the reversal of election results thanks to the recounting of votes is very rare. History shows how difficult it is to reverse the results in a statewide vote where two candidates are more than 1,000 votes apart, 
said Edward Foley, professor of electoral law at Ohio State University's Moritz College of Law, said. It can happen, but it's very rare. But Trump and his campaign still tried to cling to this fragile hope and put it on Giuliani's shoulders.